It does look a little bit like diarrhea, not gonna lie. Oh my god, it actually smells just like lemonade. I could use that as like a body spray, it smells that good. Oh my god, it had me at marshmallow. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all very, very well. Now this video has probably been one of my most requested videos ever since I unboxed the Makeup Revolution advent calendars, which I'll leave a link to those down below. But watch those videos after you've watched this one. So ever since unboxing the Amazon advent calendar, I have been obsessed with a good vending machine. And what do you know, Makeup Revolution do have a vending machine. When I say makeup revolution, I mean I heart revolution. So this looks super adorable and I have some fantastic news. So I actually bought this for 50 pounds, but currently there's an offer so you can get this for 33 pounds and I've left the link down in the description. I'm not quite sure if this is actually an advent calendar. It is 12 days, so you can technically treat it like a 12 day advent calendar if you want to. But before I get unboxing this video, don't forget that I have two advent calendars to give away. So once I hit 190 and 200,000 subscribers, I shall be giving away the advent calendars listed on screen. To enter, all you gotta do is subscribe, turn on the notifications and go follow my Instagram. Link is down in the description. I shall also be announcing the winners on my Instagram, so See you over on my Instagram. By the way, I sound croaky still because I have a cold. Box number one. Oh, before I go into box number one, I actually got something for free when I ordered um, this calendar. So, well, it's not a calendar, isn't it? It's a vending machine. So I got the Revolution Beyond Flawless Ultra Eyeshadows, which is 32 colors, I think. My goodness, look at that, there are so many colors in this palette. So we got some shimmer colors, we have nudes, we have mattes. Yeah, this is like a great like everyday palette. That's really, really handy. And it was free, it was a free product. Okay, back to the vending machine. First up, we have a I Heart Revolution Dark Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. Now I unboxed these in the Gingerbread House Advent Calendar and I was blown away. So this palette is quite like a, a daring palette just because, I don't know why I think it's daring. Why do I think it's daring? Just the gold looks really, really bright, but I do like gold. The pigment of the shimmers are are excellent, I cannot fault them. For an affordable eyeshadow, the shimmers are perfect. This brown is also like a really nice color. I mean, combined, they look really, really dreamy. Does it smell like chocolate? It smells of something. A little bit chocolatey. Are they meant to smell? Drop me a comment down below. Box number two. On the front, they do say what they are, but I'm not gonna read them. So here, we have an I Heart Revolution, and this is a salted caramel lip gloss, and it's a fantastic size. It's full size. This is like the perfect everyday color. It's like that dark, dusky rose shade. Oh yeah, this is really nice. So I like to call these like pigmented lip glosses just because like if you're looking for something for your lips which has color and gloss, these are like perfect. Does it smell like salted caramel? It doesn't, but I guess the color looks like salted caramel. Well, kind of, not exactly. Vending machine number three. So this door, we've got another lip product. Wow, that is like, that's really bright. It's the same pink as the packaging. So here we have got a coconut lip gloss. Does it smell like coconuts? That is such a shame. It doesn't smell like coconuts. Or is it because I have a cold? I can't smell it. Again, there is color to this lip gloss, but not like as intense as the other. I mean, this color, is this something that I would use? Um, Probably not. If I was like dressing up as a Barbie one night, maybe. But it's not that bad to be fair. It's like a nice pale pink. Vending machine number four. So here we have baking powder, which is like a pretty good size. So this is the I Heart Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. Now I only bake my face when I'm doing like a full on glam look. Only when I'm going out, like not usually every single day because I can't be dealing with that every single day. So the trick with this one, I like to um, dampen my sponge and then I like to get a bit of powder and then like 
pop it on, leave for like, I don't know, like some people leave it on for like ages, um, but I like to leave it on for about 20 minutes and then just like kind of brush off. It does work and it just like makes the contour pop a bit more. Okay, we are on number five. Oh, hello, we have some white chocolate here. So this is the iHeart Revolution White Chocolate Shadow Palette. Oh, this is like a pretty shade. So here we do have the chocolatey colour still, but we also got gold, we got bronze, we got a bit of silver there, and also some nice nudie colours. And we also have like a rose gold in the corner, that's nice. Does it smell like white chocolate though? It does smell a bit chocolatey, it does. I don't know if it's just me. And the mirrors are fantastic on these, they're really big. Okay, number six, we are halfway through. We have a kabuki brush. Does it pass the bristle test? Yeah, nothing's coming out, it passes. Now I probably would use this with the translucent powder, I would use it just to like, brush it off, you know, the excess. It's really super soft, oh yeah. Okay, number seven, marshmallow blending sponge. Oh my god, it had me at marshmallow. Oh my god, how cute. Oh my gosh, it actually feels really nice and squidgy. Now personally, I don't like the shape of it because I like my sponges to be like slanted. Um, I probably would, um, oh my gosh, I can't speak. I would probably would use this to like pop on my foundation. Um, but I don't like the fact that it's not tapered, but it does look like a marshmallow. Doesn't smell like a marshmallow, but the squidge test, it passes with flying colors. So squidgy. I mean, like, how adorable is the packaging? Behind this door, we have three travel brushes. Oh, how sweet. So here it looks like we have two eyeshadow brushes, and we've also got an angled eyebrow brush. Again, like, it passes the bristle test. The bristles aren't falling out, which is great. I guess it does make sense having um, these brushes inside this, I want to call it a advent calendar, but it's in fact a vending machine. Just because we have a lot of eyeshadow palettes in this vending machine. I mean, with the eyebrow brush, um, I guess you could use any of the colours in the eyeshadow palettes maybe, like you could do your brows with that. But so we have three items in that door. Okay, I think we're on number nine actually. Behind this door, oh my gosh, we have something pink and it looks like a chocolate bar again. So this is I Heart Revolution Ruby Chocolate and I think this is going to be blusher. Oh my gosh, it is. It looks amazing. The drips on it looks very like Kylie Jenner. Anyway, here we do have more of like a bronzy um, blusher and then on the right we do have like a nice pinky nudie blusher. The powder here is slightly dusty, it's not like too bad, but my favourite has got to be this colour, it's like a beautiful like rose gold champagne -y pink tone, it's gorgeous. Okay, box number 10. Next up it says we've got mini chocolate marble bronzer palettes. Oh my god, marble? I have no idea why they've called it marble. Maybe because they're like two different colours. So the colour on the right is more of like a champagne highlighter and the pigment is, oh my gosh, so, so fabulous. Revolution pigments in the highlighters are like the best, like the best affordable ones around, I reckon. This is something I would definitely use. Okay, box number 11. Here we've got Pink Lemonade Illuminating Setting Spray. Does it smell like lemonade? Oh my god, it actually smells just like lemonade. That is actually fantastic. I could use that as like a body spray, it smells that good. I'd have to say, this is probably my favourite product so far. I love, love the smell and it says that it's illuminating setting spray so hopefully I look like illuminator goddess after. Mm, what do you think? That smells insane. We are on the final, final box. So finishing off we've got a milk chocolate lip gloss. Oh wow, that is like a chocolatey colour. It does look a little bit like diarrhea, not gonna lie. Okay, on the back of my hand, it actually is like a brown colour. Personally, this is something I probably would not wear on my lips, just because it's just too brown for my liking. I probably would have liked to see like maybe some lipsticks in here, maybe like only one lip gloss and probably like a lipstick and then maybe one of their lip creams. 
That probably would have been better. Okay, I need to talk about price with you guys. So £33 divided by 12. So each store is worth about £2.75. I mean, if it was £50 for what I bought it for, um, it would have been, I think, about £6 a door. No, wait, I can't do math. It would have been £4.16. I mean, £2.75 sounds so much better. So if you want to get this vending machine, um, I've left the link down in the description for you guys. What did you make of this vending machine? Please drop me a comment down below. I think I probably wouldn't purchase it again if it was £50, but £33 does sound reasonable to me. Don't forget that I've unboxed every single Revolution advent calendar. I've left the links all in the description and also comment below if you want me to unbox any other advent calendars and I'll see what I can do. But as always guys, make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!